Today we're going to be creating an advertisement for the upcoming regions based on this advertisement for the Queen Center Mall. So here we have a model in the foreground with text in the background and we can see that the text is pretty light. Uh, they dropped the opacity. We're going to be doing something similar. We're going to start off with an image that looks a little bit like this. We're going to lay it over and then we're going to drop the opacity. We're going to use the eraser with the hardness at 0% and we're going to add this text in the upper left hand corner. Um, you can modify the slogan, Regents Begins June 17th is crucial. The text that you're going to be dragging over is in your email to PSD. It looks a little something like this. So what do you need? You need an image with two individuals, you and your buddy, in the foreground, and then a background. So there's a range of images that you can use. We've been taking photos like this over the past um, year or so. So this is one great example where we have Sean, Kimberly, and Amanda. We've got some... Uh, nice action shot in the background with Laura and Lissandra running around. What I'm going to do first, I'm looking at this, I'm going to crop it, I'm going to press C, and I want a nice sort of solid background. And you know what I'm looking? I'm looking at this and I can see that Sean has an open wound on his hand and we don't want to include that in our image so we can do a couple things. Uh, we can one, of course, use the spot healing brush and Sean, your boo-boo is gone. Nice, sana sana. Alternatively, and this is this is weird, we don't want to include that in our image, so I'm going to simply crop the whole thing out. And there we go. Uh, that's a much stronger composition. Uh, alternatively, you can use something like this. This is a photo I took uh, this past weekend. Make sure you guys, uh, very first step is Control M, or go to Image Adjustments, and then curves, we're going to make the lights lighter, the darks a little bit darker. Just so it pops a little bit, I'm going to crop it. Okay. And like the image with Sean, Kimberly, and Amanda, we've got nice foreground, we've got a soft background. And that looks great. So what is the next step? What you're going to do is you're going to open up the PSD that I saw you. Most likely it's going to say, um, Regents Test text rasterized. We've got the LR, which is low res, and I'm going to use the high res. We can see that when we look in the layers palette, it's two images, and I'm simply going to drag this over like so. Um, you can press Control T to drag it in a way that you think looks best. And let's see. So it looks a little something like this. So I'll go back here, and uh, I'm enjoying this. This looks pretty good right here. You can, of course, shift it around at your discretion. And because this is a really high-res image, I'm going to press Control t to make it a little bit bigger. You might want to take yours and make it a little bit smaller. Great. So now what I'm going to do is let's drop the opacity. It's at 100. Let's make it 58, although maybe we m might make it even lighter than that. I'm going to say around 50%. I'm going to press E. And we don't want any of this text to cover um, the face or it's really the body of, of any of these people because you guys are the star of this image. I'm going to zoom in and if you want maybe increase the hardness to like oops to like a set 70 percent ish but we definitely want it to be kind of soft. Alright so that looks great right there. I'm going to go through you're going to want to make sure um, that looks great and you know what? I see these guys in the background I want to cover this too. I do not, however, want to have 70% there. I'm going to reduce it to back to 0%, so it's kind of soft. These guys are preparing for the Regents by getting a little bit of exercise. Look at Lissandro cutting to the basket. Nice job, dude. And I, I like this. This looks good to me. Nice. So now I'm looking and I'm thinking, where do we put this box to include... Um, the specific days of the regions, not this, not that, but like the start date. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is, let's grab one. I'm holding control just so you guys know, and I'm selecting multiple layers. Great. I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to drag this whole thing in. And now, now all of a sudden, this looks, this looks pretty good. Alternatively, we could have it there, but I don't really want to cover that up. I think this looks, I think that looks ideal right, right there. And if you hold control, 
and you click on the icon in the layers palette you can see that it's now selected I'm gonna press a new layer and now let's say instead of this blue I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool and let's get if we get the red from Henry's shirt maybe we'll just experiment and see what it looks like that's interesting although I'm not in love with it because it's pretty light so let's try maybe a simple black I think a simple black looks best I like the contrast um, ladies and gentlemen I did not apply curves but you're gonna want to make sure that the very first thing you do with your image is apply curves by doing control M um, if you have any questions let me know this is due at the end of class I can't wait to see your work good luck